to another episode of Cooking with Chef Hank. Today, we will be making a famous Italian dish, lasagna. What you want to start off first is making the sauce. Let's get started. Basil leaves, oregano, pepper, onion, garlic, tomato paste, and of course, water. All right, so we're gonna warm some of this up in the pan. And, uh, about medium heat. And we'll give it a moment to heat up. And then when it gets a little smoky, we'll throw in our onions and our garlic. And, uh, We'll sweat those for a few minutes, and uh, then we'll take them out and start making the rest of our sauce. I'll let that start, and then we will uh, start with our tomato paste in our big, gigantic pot. Open up this second can of tomato paste while my dad is busy. That is a per that is a perfect circle right there. That is a perfect circle I cut out. All right, hand me that other can of paste. Says who's plat. Right. Here. Look at that paste. Now, if we wanted Babish to love us, we would have San Marzano tomatoes and we would crush them up and put them in a food processor and then add in a little bit of paste. But we don't have any of that stuff. We should get a food processor. Yeah, we would be able to. We have that little one. We need a real one. Nobody home. that around. So the salt is, so there is. And we'll do some cracked pepper. Yep. So crack some pepper. And we'll do some oregano or oregano as my son says. <laughs> Give it a good, healthy dose. Look at that. Mm. Look at that beautiful color. One metric dose of our oregano. And then we get some basil leaves. Basil. Yep. I'm going to shake some basil leaves in there. Get it good. All right. That will tell you that if you'll 
just let it cook long enough, you won't need any brown sugar. But I like brown sugar, so I'm gonna put it in anyway. We let it simmer. Now, ideally, we let it simmer for about two hours. But we'll probably let this go for about an hour and then we'll check on it. All right. Now, kielbasa is not a traditional Italian inclusion. It's uh, just delicious. But it's delicious. So we're going to put as much meat in this lasagna as we possibly can. I put a whole kielbasa, a pound of browned ground beef, and some ground Italian sausage. You cook all of it up, and then you add it to the marinara. Yeah. All right, Cut only some. handle a knife under the supervision of your parents and don't chop off your fingers. Sausage, so it's good that we have a little more than a pound of beef, and it'll all work out to. You no, know, that kielbasa is not really a pound, so. I'm going to introduce the Italian sausage. Yeah, go ahead and pop that in, that's already browned. And drained, browned and drained. Browned. And we just stir it up. Alright, stirring it up. Look at those bumps. is browned we, and we're gonna drain it. We now have the ground beef browned. Oops, Make sure it's well drained. It's always nice and delicious to have some ground beef in your lasagna. I think it's called bolognese when you take marinara and add beef to it. Yeah. But well, we've added more than beef. Mm. All right, stir that in there, Henry. And I'm gonna go ahead and brown the kielbasa just a little bit. Get in there with authority, just buddy. Just for fun, because that mayor reaction will go really nicely with that smoky flavor. All right, we got just a little bit of color showing now, not a whole lot. We just got a little bit of that Maillard reaction happening. Enhance the smoky flavor there. There we go. Oh yeah. Get in there and stir. Hey guys, it's Hank Smashes. And we are back with some more of cooking the lasagna. So, it's traditional to have a layer of, or bechamel layered in with your lasagna. So the first thing we're gonna do today is make bechamel and warm up our delicious sauce, sweet tea, yummy marinara sauce that we made yesterday. So once this butter is good and melted, it's five tablespoons of unsalted butter. We're gonna add a quarter cup of flour and whisk it and cook it until it's kind of sandy colored. And then we will slowly add 
a quart of milk, um, thickening into the, the roux that we're gonna make with the butter and flour until we have a creamy sauce that we're gonna let simmer for about 20 minutes. And our butter's starting to get melting. All right, now that our butter is melted, we will stir in our flour. Oops, apparently all at once. When making a roux and any sauce that results from a roux, you have to do a lot of stirring. start slowly adding milk. the heat and let it simmer for 20 minutes. Our bechamel has been simmering for about 15 minutes and it's, you know, got little brainy bits from the bottom mixed in now. Yay. But we're going to add some cheese because Frank from Epicurious does. So some Romano we've got left over and some Parmesan we've got left over from the last time your dad made carbonara. Stir those in and that will thicken it up a little bit more. Finally thick enough. Yep. We are going to season this bechamel now. Some of the stuff that you will need will be ground white pepper, ground nutmeg, and kosher salt. We're gonna use white pepper because it's traditional, even though we already have burnt little bits affecting the color of our bechamel. So, we're gonna do two teaspoons of kosher salt. And why don't you come stir? Quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And I have no idea how much white pepper. Not too much. Henry doesn't want much pepper. Babies. We are adding in the lasagna sheets. All the time. Lasagna. Once we return it to a boil, the package says 12 to 14 minutes. All right. The okay. lasagna sheets are ready. They are ready. Don't cook the lasagna sheets. Well, there are two types of lasagna sheets you can buy. There's the, what they call oven ready kind, and then there's the regular kind. I've always used the regular mm, yes. kind, so that's what I'm using today. So we will be putting a few lasagna sheets down first. No. Mm. Why first, we will put a layer of bechamel so that our lasagna doesn't stick to the bottom. Oh, this looks so good. Yeah, it sure does. Then a layer of 
have this delicious sauce that smells so good, you wish we had Smell-O-Vision. Now, the cheese. I got Italian blend and mozzarella. The Italian blend has mozzarella, provolone, parmesan, asiago, fontina, and romano. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do some of that. More lasagna yeah. sheets. So then we'll have to stop there. I think we're gonna have more than enough bechamel. Delicious anyway. Mm -hmm. Now since our lasagna noodles are already cooked, we don't have to be super emphatic about getting the sauce spread all the way out to the edges. But I like consistency. The secret ingredient is far too many calories. I don't know if we're gonna have any leftover sauce. sprinkling of basil mm. on top. Hey. Now we are going to bake it at 325 because it's in a glass pan for 45 minutes. Oh, mama mia. What smells so good down here? Yeah. What does smell so good down here? Lasagna sheets. Huh, what could it be? Funny to know. Look, there's also a spoon with tomato sauce over there. Yes! Yahoo! What could it be? Wait, let's look in the oven. Whoa! Lasagna? Wait, but who made this? We did. Hmm? Hello, Mario Brothers. It's me, Hank Smashes. And, yeah, me and my parents were the ones that made the lasagna. It had been years since we had. That's really cool. When will it be ready? Yeah, when will it be ready? About 38 minutes. Well, the lasagna is The lasagna is ready. Mmm, smells delicious. Oh yeah, they got plenty of layers too. Mmm. I'm gonna go we'll get the plates. Okay. Wait, Luigi, there's another timer. Garlic bread. Oh, nice. Mm, looks good. Ooh. That was really good. Ah, oh, couldn't agree more, Mario. They really do make a good recipe. Yeah. Whew. Well, I hope you enjoyed following this recipe on how to make lasagna. Homemade lasagna. And if you followed the recipe correctly, then you should have the exact same delicious lasagna. Well, I'll see you in the next Cooking with Chef Hank episode.
Bye.